Hi folks, Mark Crowther here with another software testing update. So what have I been doing the last couple of weeks? Uh, mainly, skiving off. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm mainly focusing on uh, developing a Selenium automation framework, as usual, piece of documentation I have here. I'll, uh, I'll post this up somewhere and put a link in the sidebar so you can see that diagram. What I've tried to do there is put together a fully open source automation framework that you know we mere testers can easily put onto our systems and get access to automation very quickly at, at no cost ideally um, another aspect that I've included here is a behavior driven development component called RSpec so the Selenium Ruby idea is that we need to extend Selenium with the power and functionality that a programmatic language such as Ruby provides us. Ruby has what they call a gem, a kind of package of functionality, but it's called RSpec. And RSpec is this behavior driven development uh, framework. Behavior driven development is, is interesting. I'm not sure it's gone mainstream yet. It still seems to be, you know, we're talking about it. Maybe it is or isn't accepted. Uh, I've just pulled another website here that I'll, uh, again, I'll put a, a link uh, in, on, to, on the sidebar um, that tries to describe, you know, what BDD is. Essentially, BDD is saying, hey, developers, don't focus so much on writing unit tests and thinking that what you're doing is testing your software. Uh, what you want to be doing is focusing on behavior and testing the behavior that's emergent from the functionality uh, that's present because of your coding. At the end of the day, the customer is interested in the functional technical implementation, but really they're talking in terms of behavior, mostly. Some customers will have a nice technical conversation with you, but most are talking about behaviors. From the test perspective, what happens is we look at you know, functional specification and we derive our test cases from it. I'm going to say that that's not actually what we do. What we do is we try to analyze what the emergent behaviors will be when that functional specification is implemented. If we don't do that, we get into that erroneous uh, mode of just copying the functional spec and writing test cases underneath it. How many test specifications have you seen? Uh, that just are uh, just repeats of the functional spec. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for behavioral specifications. What is it that I'll be able to do with this software? So rewind to, to BDD. Let's look at behavior-driven development. The idea is the developer says, when I implement code, what behaviors will emerge from that? And then they write tests that will prove that that behaviors come about. But they're still at the unit level. Define that as you will. I know the definition changes. But the point is they're looking at emergent behaviors and writing test cases beneath it. From the test side, we're looking at the functional spec and talking about what behaviors should this application be able to enact and then writing test cases underneath it. This is why, in my view, BDD is the bridge between development and testing that we've been missing for you know, forever, since testing and development have been clashing heads. I think it also addresses a lot of these questions about, well, if I'm doing unit tests, what are you guys doing? Now, we know the answer is you know, all the other testing that needs doing. But to an unsophisticated developer, and I mean that in a nice way, where you, you know, they're not trained in testing, of course they're going to ask this question. It's perfectly reasonable. And likewise, you know, testers also sometimes ask, well, if they're doing unit tests and maybe they do integration tests, what are we doing? because we don't understand the development side enough. BDD throws those questions out. It, it just becomes obvious how we should be working together and why what we're doing is, is adding value. So the automation framework I've put together uses RSpec, which is BDD, and that allows us to write tests that are BDD focused. The tests in BDD are meant to be, or are called, specifications. And that's what we do. We specify a collection of tests or a test condition. And then we write test cases underneath it. When you look at your tests in the RSpec structure, they look like you've written a test specification and then a bunch of tests 
underneath it to prove that that's been achieved. 